I am that British guy and welcome to part 3 of my playthrough of Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. In the last episode we met up with who we thought was going to be Keo Ma, but it happened to be Dr. Madnar and he has sent us away to search for Keo Ma. So we've got to go back through the forest and see if we can locate him. So let's get started. Right, let's go back down through the forest then to see if we can locate Dr. Marv. And before we go to the north building, we have to get a few more bits and pieces. Who is this? Snake, watch out! You're in a minefield! Who are you? I'm your number one fan. Keep up the good work. Okay, random person. So minefield. Ooh, look at them belts. Collecting all the mines. Do -do -do -do. These are going to be very, very helpful in a minute. For anyone that knows what's coming, will know why I'm collecting these. Anyone that doesn't, it will become very clear very quickly. from this path, we will sink and we will drown and have to do the whole thing all over again and it's a real big pain. So, there so carefully, as soon as we come off, back on again, back on again, fiddly fiddly, as you can tell I've got a vague idea of what the route is. A little run! I am Running Man, the world's fastest mercenary. No one can keep up with me. See for yourself. Not actually that quick, considering he's not that much quicker than you are. Pat, pat. What do you think? Pretty fast, eh? I'm just getting warmed up. Hear that sound? That's nerve gas. Defeat me before the gas gets to you and you might survive. The clock is ticking. Let the race begin! Right, first thing then. As we have gas, we need gas marks. Because he runs in a very particular way, we just place a few mines as to where he's going to run to. And as long as we space them out enough so that he 
isn't invincible anymore, you should run straight over them. Ah, like that. Nice and easy. Idiot. <laughs> you... You used my speed against me. What's your name? I didn't really use his speed against him. I used his I must run in a dead straight line against him. But there we go. Snake. Solid snake. Snake. The cheetah has lost to a snake. How could this happen? Guess you weren't fast enough. And as is tradition, he explodes. Right, now we have card three, we can go back and get a few things, because we are going to need them. One of which being an item to beat the next boss. Just make our way very carefully. The way we came. stupid bit. Really weirdly designed system. There we go. Right. That's that horrible bit done. Now that we have card three, let's get one or two more things from the first building before we proceed northbound. One of which will be vital, which is going to be this first one that we're going to get here. Crawling, 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 get myself some ammo. Do -do 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 -do. Gonna be needing them. Oh, there's a dude coming. Damn it! This will allow me to get back to where the lift is. It's 
is essentially card one, two, and three in one card, so you've got to keep switching between cards, which is really annoying as we go through. to level 2 to go down into the basement because of the weird way that the lifts work. Because why make things straightforward, Kojima? I have one lift. do you. So I'm going to have to come back down here at some point anyway. Ugh. At least I get the RC missiles. I think that's all I can actually get. Yeah, because even you don't open either. Ridiculous. Go away. Leave me alone. Stop shooting me. Why don't they fall down the holes? Very annoying. ranking system on this game, I don't think I'd get an X rank. Now, sometimes I've just been caught, but there we go. Now, let me just quickly check level 3. don't think there's anything else up here. Pretty sure this doesn't work yet. And
so with that taken care of let's go down to level one and go north a little bit and put these stinger missiles to use damn it just that little bit quicker than I think they are Turn around. Thank you. Don't need you anymore, man with green beret. I know where I'm going now. I have walked through this jungle once, therefore I've memorized all of it, sort of. Although if that was actually me in real life. Um, right, let's double check on these mines. Is the maximum. Oi! That singing sand imported all the way from Okinawa, Japan. It squeaks when you walk on it. The sound will give your position away, so be careful. See ya! So it's like standing on the noisy tiles. I'm not sure where I am. Oh. They don't come looking for me though, which is a bit weird. I would have thought they'd have gone, oh, I hear a sound, let's go and investigate the sound I just heard. But nope. They just kind of look in all directions and then that's it. <laughs> it's a bit weird. But hey ho. That's annoying. Ow, oh, damn it. That was a waste of time. Cool, so that you can then bloody see me. Well, this will get rid of them. Big square. Again, for those who have played Metal Gear Solid, this is actually a hind D. It's not just a random helicopter. They use the same helicopter twice. Oh dear. And while I'm talking, they get shot at. Right, when you get shot at, or when you are in the same square, rather, you get shot at. So all I need to do is wait for him to get into that square of fire. And Yeah, there we go. He is done. That is the end of him. And 
that is the end of this episode because we have defeated two bosses and we're just about to go into the north building and see what we can find in there so I think we're best off leaving those adventures until the next video as always please let me know in the comments below what you make of this playthrough and of the game in general I will be back very very shortly with the next part of the playthrough where we investigate this next building there will be other bits and pieces coming up in the next week or so as well and until then, I've been that British guy, and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.